Hello, it's Uncommon Fossil, and today I'm presenting the fourth deck in this little series, Is This Better Than Lugia? And today's deck is Arceus and Teleon. I already talked about Arceus with the Arceus Flying Pikachu deck. This deck utilizes the Inteleon engine with Inteleon with Shady Dealings, and Drizzile with Shady Dealings lets you search for one or two trainers from your deck and put it into hand, so very good. I played this deck about a year ago a fair amount, um, but the deck's a little bit different now. It, it's a tankier in general, and I'm going, going with that build of things. So it's got Radiant Gardevoir to take 20 less damage from Vs. It plays one V-Guard energy um, in addition to the waters and the DTEs and, the, and, and even a capture just to help get things going. But the V-Guard energy, you take 30 less damage from opponent's Pokemon V. So again, trying to not be one shot. And then uh, you have Big Charm to make it harder to get one shot. You play Lake Acuity, which is a card that I doesn't see a lot of play, but it is quite potentially quite good. The Pokemon with water or fighting energy attached take 20 less damage. So again, making it tough to knock out the Arceus. And then it plays two Sharon's Care as well as a Palpad. Sharon's Care lets you put a colorless Pokemon with damage counters on it into your hand along with all cards attached. So that's kind of what it is. It's it's you, you do damage and you uh, tank, you know, avoid getting knocked out. That's the way the deck operates. You, if you've really, it's a deck from my experience from before that really takes some precise decision making. Right, call you know, with the Intelligent Engine, you're searching for the exact cards you want. There's a lot of one ofs in the deck, so a lot of things to choose from, a lot of choices to make. Um, the de you're really rewarded for good decisions with the deck, but you also get really punished for bad decisions. Also, there are some tough matchups. Probably the, the meta on live is maybe worse than just the general letter uh, meta for these events on Limitless, right? As they give away the World Championship deck, that's certainly a tough matchup. So anyway, all right, so we're both taking a mulligan. They have Shadow Rider sleeves, so that may be the matchup. I didn't notice who's going first or second, so, yep, they're up against Shadow Rider. I would have liked to get an Arceus V into play. Uh, if I go second, though, having the Sobble is not is good, right? So it looks like I get another, I get to draw at least one. I'm not sure. I might get to draw two. They, they took two mulligans, so is that two more in addition to the first mulligan, or is that two mulligans in total? I'm not quite certain of that. We'll see what it lets me do. I will draw however many cards they let me do. Okay, so two cards. So I got a V, and that is really terrific. Um, so I'm going first. I don't love having the Sobble in the active. Um, this could. This is not going to be a great. This is this is a rough start. I would say. Um, Avery is a really good card at some point to force them to thin down their bench as they start to build up a lot of Pokemon with a lot of energy. Um, I'm going to want to take advantage of Avery at some point. Um, probably Marnie this turn. I, they're probably going to use the first attack. In that, if I Shadow Mist, which does 10 damage, then I can't play any special energy or stadium cards, so I can't pass to the peak them. And I can't play my double turbo, which means I cannot attack with Arceus next turn. So... It gets tough going. So they, they, they got two energies attached, which is with this ability. So, yeah, they did the attack. Ten damage. I can't really get going. So what do I want to do here? I don't want to research this away. Um, I'd like to as attach a basic energy. I could evolve and get something, but I don't know that I want to do that. Do I? I'm gonna. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna Marnie. I'm gonna big charm my other Arceus. Marnie, see what I get. I, I could have Drizzle to guarantee myself another Sobble. Um, not great there, is it? So I'm going to. I need to get a Sobble on the bench. So I get rid of, I'll get rid of Palpad. No, I'll get rid of Inteleon. And I want to get 
Sobble down. Uh, so Yavalto certainly no. I play Yavalto to get rid of uh, cards too, um, to to knock off special energy. My opponent's not going to be playing special energy. This is not the start I I wanted. I really needed with this to get my DTE into play turn one, and then I would have been in a pretty solid spot. But again, I can't play double turbo energy. So. Um, what do I do here? And I don't have any. Um, this isn't good. So do I research this away? I don't love this. Um, I think I got to research though. I think I do. All right. So play him down. I'll play. I'll get a Drizzile. I guess I will. I'm going to scoop. I want to get. Let's see. I want to get. Shady Dealings. I, I need to get. Hang on, what, what do I have here? I still don't have any energy, right? That's my big problem. So, go back. So, I'm going to grab a quick ball. I'm not going to play path yet because I'm going to need my own ability. So, I'm going to get a quick ball um, and sit on the quick ball, quite frankly. Put him down. Him down. I, I quick ball so I can get rid of an energy and Melanie next turn. The problem is, oh man, well, all right, I'm going to use the ability and I'm going to grab two energies. <laughs> Not what I really would have wanted to do, but I, I have to get myself set up so I can attack. So I'll attach. I will get an energy into the discard, which lets me give me a, the potential to Melanie next turn. I will throw down my Radiant Gardevoir. I have a Drizzile. Um, it's not terrible. Not terrible. Um, it would have been nice to get the path down that turn, but that really doesn't do me any good either. It, well, it, it's a it's a slow start, but Shadow Rider takes a little bit to get going too. So, how what can they do? Do they get to evolve this turn? Right, that's kind of the question. So they did very little, right? So I can't play Special Energy though. And that's okay. That's okay. So I'm gonna play this. I will grab a Melanie. So actually, I'm gonna knock out the Shadow Rider. So it looks like my it, this is starting to work for me. We'll see. I have, right, I have the pieces I need, I think. So let's see. Um, I didn't get scoop, oh wait, I, I can get scoop up net here. I have incense, which I believe gets me a scoop up net, right? So, Sobble, let's just look and see. Scoop up net, okay. I mean, I kind of need to drizzle anyway, but just in case I need to change plans so I can attach so that's good. So I have knockout here. Um, what's my energy count too? Because I want to accelerate energy. I can accelerate one. So that's not ideal, but it's better than some things, right? Play there, attach, and. 200. I don't know why it's all grayed out. It, 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 I prefer it not to be gray, right? It just seems like it doesn't want it to be a choice for me. So, oh, that's right. I missed it by 10. Try to do 200. They're 210. But now I will knock out the Shadow Rider next turn. I should have access to boss with my Drizzile. Um, I have, did I discard path? What did I do there? 
Um, no, I have Path and Deck, so they haven't got a VMAX out. So that's I'm surprised by that, and obviously they're not happy about that. That's causing them a lot of trouble. So it's been a slow start for me, slow start for my opponent. I've managed to crawl through the slow start, it looks like, and start doing some pressure. So I think I want to send up my other Arceus. The problem is... I can't attack with him this turn, right? Assume I assume they're going to hit into me with a V. Um, they'll attach an energy. All right, well, that's not terrible. Well, what am I going to do here? So I need to do, I need to switch, right? So no damage, but I can't play special energy, right? Correct, nor play a stadium. So I want to... What do I want to do? So I'll Drizzile for switch, and then I'll manually attach. I could boss up the other Shadow Rider too. Let's see, do I, I don't have a switch card though, so that kind of stinks, doesn't it? It does indeed. Um, wow, I don't have another Melanie or anything here, do I? So... All right, so I'm going to bosses order out the one Shadow Rider, I guess. I don't love it. I'm not, lo I'm not loving my position. I'm going to retreat. This could be really terrible for me. But right now, my opponent is really just picking me to, uh, you know, wow, this is going to be tough. I think... I need to hit it. I need to prize. I need to hit something with my prizes. I, I, I do have a switch in deck. Um, I would like to get some energy going. Um, oh, I just play one Melanie. So I really would like my pal pad. Um, it's not great, is it? So let's see. I, 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 oh, I, I discarded the pal pad. So that's not good. All right. So I can't get energy into play, really. Um, We'll see what happens here. Now, so I can, so I can't really Sharon's Care this turn, can I? Um, it's awkward. So they're going to, what are they going to smack? They're going to take out my Radiant Gardevoir. Does it do enough damage for that? I'm not sure. Oh, they do, they play the training court, so that's a plus because I need to get energy into hand, right? Need to get energy. Boss, let's see what they want to hit. So they're hitting my guy without energy. Um, so this is not good. This is all right. So I was digging myself out. I thought I have not gotten to where I needed to be, though, right? So I think I just want to let him take him out, right? I, I don't think I can pretend to protect... Oh, no, I want to get Sharon's Care. Sharon's Care solves my problems. So I have, should have Sharon's Care. Um, I have one. All right, what else do I get? I will toss down a path after I get back to energy. Um, that seems like a good plan there, right? So Sharon's care. I like that. I like that. Um, training court. Get him down. I can play special energy at this turn. So let me do that. Do I want a Sobble? Let's see. Do I have any more Drizziles? I do. So I will... Toss down a Sobble, and I will now pass to the peak, shut off their ability. Not sh I lose the 20 damage protection. That's the trade-off I face there. So, But they might bump the path, right? In which case, I mean, they only have one card in hand, so their options are pretty limited. And I think the other Sharon's Care was prized then, right? I, I don't think I saw it. And I think it was just one that I, that I grabbed. So, um, uh, what do I want 
to send up? Do I want to send up... I'll send up... I'll send up the Sobble. He can retreat for one, and that's okay. Because now I can attack with... my Arceus. Um, I... So what do I want to do here? So I will retreat, send him up, attack. Again, I, I'm having a tough time getting energy going, but that's okay. That's life here. I'm not sure I've taken all the right choices in this game here. Um, but we'll see. Opponents think I know what to do, and they conceded. So, got through that game successfully. I don't think I played it optimally. Um, it was an awkward start for me. It was an awkward start for my opponent, too. They, they actually got the better uh, first couple turns but then they really stalled out. So let's take a, go on with a, an, another game here. Uh, that game took a while with that limited amount of action, right? Slow going for both of us, um, but tried to dig out of it. Again, I don't think I dug out of it quite the optimal way. I need, don't, the 60, this 60 is different from the 60 I played a year ago. Um, last year I was in the place where I, this is a, a, a net deck, this one. Um, just to get something that's a little bit built for what the current meta is. Um, so I think that was a, a reasonable choice. Um, but before I played the deck enough that I really had the 60, I customized my 60, got it down to the 60 I wanted. So I'm going to go second. So I might want to attack with a Sobble. But no, I really want to start an Arceus, obviously. I mean, Arceus is good if I can get a, a double turbo on. It looks like I'm not going to do that, though. So up against Lost Zone Entry. So this is going to be a, a, a tricky matchup, i got to say. Um, so we'll see what I do here. Um, I've got to make a few decisions about what I want to do. And I want to get a Sobble in play, so my opponent didn't do much. What, they just got one card, and they discarded Cramorant. So I, what do I want to do here? So I don't think I want Path, right? I mean, I could, but I'm going to get rid of Path. So I want another Arceus down. And I want to get a Sobble down. And the question is, where do I attach my energy? Right, that's my question here. Um, I'm, I'll assume they're not going to knock out my active this turn, so I'll attach to the active. The, the, now, the downside is I might get roped too, right? So um, they, they play rope. If they get another comfy down, they're going to want to use rope to get to use a second comfy. I don't think they have another comfy in hand, though, because they probably would have played it down last turn. I mean, maybe they were being clever in, in hiding it, um, but it made them vulnerable to Marnie. So I, I would assume they didn't. So, oh, that, oh yeah, that is a comfy on the bench. Silly me. The two arts, I just was getting distracted by that. So um, I don't think they have a third comfy then, I will say. They might now, right? They've seen, they drew a card, and they've seen four more. So now, yeah, so rope... Um, you know, I'll, I'll make that play. Um, I do have the Arceus right now. Arceus is V-Star. Power. So we'll see what happens here. So what, are they down? So they're up to four now. Uh, they discarded, they got rid of a Cramorant. Uh, Rayquaza. So that does big damage. So that can one-shot me. Well, that's a good turn, so I might just want to, I 
think I'm going to want to research this hand away, right? I will um, research. Do I have switch in there? Wow, once again, I don't have switch. This deck only plays one. It plays one switch, right? Or does it play no switch? Maybe it doesn't play switch, and that's a uh, that, that's rough not playing switch in this deck. Okay, so I guess I was wrong about that. The deck list does not play switch, but I I can get DTE on my active Pokemon. I'm guaranteed that, right? And um, I will accelerate to my man on the bench. So here we go. So I guess, yeah, I thought the deck played a switch. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't think it does. So DTE and I think I want another Sobble, right? No, I have, I have two Quick Balls, so let me not burn that. I don't need him. Um, I'm going to want a nice supporter at some point next turn, though, right? So what do I have access to? So let me grab a, a level ball. So DTE, quick ball away. The quick ball. Toss down another sob. It's my last sobble, huh? Okay, good to know. So he's going to really smack me hard here, right? Smack me hard. So this could go badly for me, right? So I'll attach there. I figure he's going to get knocked out, right? I could have, maybe I should have attached to the, the, the V. The, in the active, um, he's going to get knocked out probably if I get my one more energy. You know, I would have had, would open up the Melanie play for me. I still have options for Melanie, which I might want to do. Um, we'll see. I need to. Do I want to get a third Arceus down? That That's a good question, too. All right, so what do I want to give up here? I think, okay, I think I don't mind this because, uh, look, I got to assume he, I need to assume he can't knock me out, right? If he can knock me out, well, then that's that. If, if he comes up short, though, which there's a good chance they do, then I can share his care. So that's what I'm banking on here, that I don't get knocked one shot here. If I get one shot... It's essentially game over, right? So he does, was it 80? So, oh, bump my stadium. So he only needs the three energy. So now, no, he needs four energy, right? He needs four energy attached, but that's not going to be that hard to do, right? Oh, he doesn't have, he needs one more energy in the discard. So that's, losing that stadium hurts for sure. Um So I might now want to, I think I want to gust up the Rayquaza, right? Because he's the big threat to me. So I'm going to make this play, take this card, um, do I have, I have two boss in hand, so yeah, I want to make that play. Boss, knock out the Rayquaza. He probably, assuming my, puts pressure, a lot of pressure on my opponent there. Um, what else do I want? Do I have, do I want to evolve the other guy? I think I'll make that play. All right, so big charm. So I want to boss up the Rayquaza because he's the biggest threat to me. Big charm and attach energy. I I could net this turn, but I think I want to wait on that. I think I just attack 
right? I, I could evolve this Arceus, though, right? And try to make it so he can't get knocked out. But let me let me do this. Um, actually, he could knock out the V Star if so. I mean, if, if he can knock, if he does two fifty, he knocks out my V Star, and he probably would rather do that. Um, so took a prize, but again, it's it's a single prize deck, so I've got to work through it slowly, patiently here. Um, I have Sharon's care, so I, my plan right now is not to get knocked out next turn, hopefully. Get hit in with Cramorant again, that's okay. I mean, now they have the seven cards in the Lost Zone, so they can power up Rayqua the Rayquaza. All right, there's one in... So they probably don't have a third Rayquaza, but they probably... Do, they, I imagine they do play Rod, though. Um... Okay, so I needed to maybe get down a Manaphy, right? Uh, so a Manaphy would have been good. So I, I, yeah, I didn't, it wasn't, see, I haven't got, played through these things. So, um, okay, so a mix of Amazing Rares. At least two Amazing Rares in the deck. Does 120 to my bench, so they'll knock out, I imagine, a Sobble. Um, so I want to get down a Manaphy next turn, probably. But they don't knock out my active. So we'll see what he does. Um, he does does 120, right? So yeah. So doesn't knock out my active. He can take out my Sobble. Um, that's not ideal. But it's not the worst thing in the world, right? I imagine he's going to hit the Sobble. He didn't hit the Sobble. So that's even better, right? So I want to... Um, so let me grab my Manaphy. Obviously, I wish I had him the turn before, but there's that's okay. Sharon's Care, my active, who's got... The Big Charm here. Attach... I will scoop up my Inteleon. I think I want to... What do I have for trainers here? Um, do I want to Drizzile this turn? I might, right? No, I'll just attack this turn. Just attack. Um, I'm not sure if that was the right play. Oh, I do have two energies, right? So I will attach them both. Get my V on the bench powered up. So I can attack next turn. So that's that's a good turn. So the game's going pretty well for me. That's nice, a second Drizzile. So I have two Sobbles, two Drizziles in hand. Um, Right, so how many cards in Lost Zone? They're at, sitting at seven. Uh, so they have Rayquaza and a Cramorant. Um, so we'll see what they attack with this turn. I don't think they can knock out my V-Star. Uh, they hit into it with a Cramorant. My goal will be to Sharon's Care again. Then it gets me to three prizes without them not taking any and that's and that's a strong position to be in if, if I get there uh, up by three prizes so well okay so they there's a good chance they're gonna take out my active Pokemon this turn so that's difficult that's unfortunate for me um, so they're gonna tie me up on prizes so I also want to start getting my, um, I think I want to start to be able to, I want to be able to attack with Inteleon also, right? Um, so that's enough to knock out my active Pokemon, I believe, right? Uh, 8 times 3 is 240. He's got 200, so yes. So he takes me out. I will attack with my V, um, 
again, he's got a bunch of work to get set up, so he's going to have a hard time one-shotting a, a V-Star here. I hope I, I need to access the V-Star, right? I should have access to that. So let me play this. Get um, I want to get actually. You know what I think I want to do? I want to Avery them. Just set them back with an Avery, right? Um, first. Because I don't need to share and carry this turn. All right, and then I drew some cards because I think I do want another Arceus into play. Also, um, I need to get my V into play. So grab him. I mean my v, my V my V star right, which I have two of there. I've got a Sharon's Care too, so I want to. So this game's setting up well, as I'm just kind of work through it. Do I want to use Training Court? Well, that's that's another question, right? Probably not a reason not to use Training Court, right? I probably Training Court here. Attach that. No, I don't give away information. I think it's better to have more energies going on anyway. Take the knockout. I don't believe I have any energy to accelerate this turn. Um, I think I have so I have a DTE in there. Um, I have Melanie in hand, which I could utilize so I can get that going. So I take the lead again at the prizes. I don't believe... I mean, they could boss and knock out my V on the bench, um, and that's a blow for sure. Um, but we'll see what they can do here. Um, I, I thinned out their bench. They, they only have one comfy in hand. Um, they have, so let's see. They've played, what, one rod in the, they now have, getting a few more Pokemon and stuff in the Lost Zone. So we'll see what they can do here. I think their resources are starting to get stretched thin here, I gotta say. But we will see what happens, right? They may Marnie me, um, which then we'll see what my options are at that point. Uh, if they had hit into me, I probably, I probably want a Sharon's care. Okay, so they're gonna hit me with him. So they, okay. And they have Sableye that goes through things. So that's all right. So I want to evolve these Intellions quickly, maybe or maybe even scoop them up. We'll see. Um, the Sableye is a bit nasty in that regard. Um, so he'll take out the Manaphy, I would assume. Um, uh, in which case, I, I I want, in which and he does 120 with him, or to 120, so he can take out a Drizzle. He can't take out an Inteleon on the bench if it doesn't have damage on it, so I will probably want to... Um, scoop something up. I don't know if that really... All right, I mean... I don't know if the goon pings are overly effective here, but, well, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, wow, really, really, really pinging away. So, uh, wow, I, I, I don't know that that... I don't know if that's a super effective play. I mean, he's not going to knock out... He's not going to be able to ping through my mana fee and take a prize here. Um, so three. So that, that's good as they burn the resources. They're down pretty thin in their deck, too. Um, but I guess he's taking out two Pokemon, though, right? So that's the good thing with what he did, right? He 
Yep, so he's got two. So so it's, uh, the goon pings, yep, so I take it back. So the goon pings were very effective. So good job by my opponent there, taking two prizes. I will evolve my Inteleon for sure. Um, so let me grab, what do I grab here? So first I want to get my V-Star. Um, right, grab my V-Star. Do I want to share? I need to share and care. Well, I don't Sharon's care this turn, right? I could scoop him up, though, right? I could scoop up my Italian. That's one of my questions, right? Um, so I think I rock Zan. And what else do I want here? And I'll pal pad. Just get myself a little bit of control over things here. Um, because I'm going to Roxanne in a second. So Avery's useful, and Sharon's Care is useful. Let, let me keep those two cards. Um, if he takes out my active, I have nothing. So do I want to scoop up my... Um, so I'm going to toss an energy in the discard, right? Definitely not playing him. I could scoop up I will play the V guard do I want him in play at this point maybe he's too much of a liability so I'm gonna scoop up my Inteleon and then I'm gonna Roxanne um, tell my opponent hey if you can get through me you win and they might. Now it's now it's a pretty close race, I think, this game. Um, so, yeah. So now so now my other Arceus is fully powered up, which is nice. Um, I'm certainly not guaranteed to access Sharon's care, though. Um, but, you know... I don't know. I, I mean, by having the Inteleon out there, I could have used him... Um, a switch card would be nice also. That that would have gotten me to attack with the Inteleon. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. It's going to be close. That's what I'll say. I might do a hard retreat this turn also. Um... With my opponent knocking out my active, that's how I'm going to lose this game. For sure. So, Pokemon, one of each amazing rare, and the discard. Okay. Um, trainers, one rod. So, they may still have, like, another rod. And they have another net. We'll, we'll, we'll see what they can get going here. Um, obviously, they've used a lot of resources at this point. They're down to one card in deck, so, though. So they're, you know, they could Marnie, obviously. Um, see what happens. They're very much up against it. I, I don't know if they have the pieces to, to pull this off. They might not be able to attack this turn, so we'll see what they do here. So, oh, well, they're attacking with him, um, which is reasonable. I will. Do I have energy in the act in the discard? I do, so I can Melanie. I mean, Sharon's care is what I'd want. Sharon's care is the home run card. Um, I will Melanie because I want to retreat, right? And that way I keep. Um, right. So don't put anyone on the bench. Uh, they can hit through that, so I'm going to retreat. Send up those two. 
and no, I don't want to grab an energy. I just uh, I attack. All right, see what happens here. So this is, you know, they have to win this turn, or or game over, right? So so this it, the game will not get past my next turn. Um, they have to take a knockout though. Um, with the cards they have in hand, right? There's no more cards in the deck. They can't draw anything. Oh, okay, they're getting... So I'm putting the rod back in, so they're not going to deck out next turn. I do... I mean, I have game on board next turn if they don't win. All right, I don't... Unless they have hammers, which I don't think they do. Um, they could bump their stadium and get rid of the special energy with something, too. But again, that... that I don't think they have something to bump the special energy either. It doesn't, you know, I, it, I it wish it showed me what they grabbed with the rod, and it doesn't. So it just goes in quickly. I'm be, I know it doesn't say to, sh to reveal to your opponent, but, um, you know, there are limitations on what the cards are, so I think they should show them just so I know that there are legitimate cards they're putting in, right? You know, because the, the way it is, you know, if it was an I IRL event, they could be putting back like a boss. So got game there. So it was a close one. Kind of worked through it slowly. Um, so two pretty long games, I got to say there, uh, but successful games showing, you know, guys have some patience to come back. And, um, you know, the deck works for sure. It's a tough deck, Um I'll be honest with you, I'm a little rusty with the deck. I'm not at the place where I can dominate with the deck. At this point, I, I would say, unless you're really s skilled with the deck, this deck is not going to be better than Lugia Arc Gaps for you. If, if you're good with it, it might be, although you also have to really get the right 60, too. Um, so I, I think this isn't the right 60 for playing games on the rank ladder and live. Um, I need to make some adjustments. Big Parasol might be a necessary inclusion. Uh, maybe Dunsparce to, for weakness because there are the World Championship decks. But it is a very good deck. If you haven't tried it in the past, give it a try before, you know, you have a few weeks before rotation comes. And it's a good deck. It works well. And it does test your skill. Take care.